Hi, this is the Phoenix back to do another energy update for the sign of Taurus. Just keep in mind these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Taurus. So let's see what is happening here. Alright, so someone is being deceptive. They're hiding something from you. Or it could be you hiding something from someone. But it is, there is a lesson in this for you or for them. Somebody needs to learn a lesson for their personal growth or development. Because they keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And they're going to still keep trying to communicate with you. This feels like a breadcrumbing situation. But the universe is putting things into place for you. So know that you will see this person face their karma. Or you're going to actually find out the truth. Alright, so. All right, yeah, so you're opening yourself up to this deception. I think you had the red flags, but you're choosing to ignore it. And I think you will be the one learning the lesson in this. Yeah, it's time to make a choice when it comes to love. You could be going through a karmic cycle right now and spirit is telling you to pay attention to what the lesson is trying to teach you. Yeah, but somebody needs to do some healing first. Somebody needs to do some soul searching, some self-reflection. But it would seem that you are going to be coming across as someone very defensive or you are going to take some time out to do some self-love and self-healing for yourself because you feel like you have to defend yourself against this person. Could have to do it as Scorpio. But I think you're ready to bring things to an end because you're fed up of this person lying to you, deceiving you, cheating on you and running around on you. So I think you're finally going to make a choice when it comes to love because you don't feel like this is going to work out for you anymore. For you, this relationship is done, it's over and you're ready to move on with your life. Yeah, you've given up on trying on this relationship. It's over for you. You want to have love. You want someone to take action when it comes to love. <coughs> and you want a new relationship. So for some of you, you could actually be interested in someone else <coughs> at this point in time. Because you're ready to leave the past behind. 
You're ready to leave the lies, the deceptions behind and take action when it comes to love and move towards someone else, a new person. Yeah. Because you're tired of the deception, the lies, the hiding. And you're up to your neck in even wanting to give this person a second chance. You want commitment. You want loyalty. You want finances. And it seems that this person, you feel like they can't give it to you. <coughs> so I think you want to have a coming together with someone else. But you need to get yourself in a single stable place. <coughs> yeah, you're ready to take control of your own life. You're ready to be single, independent. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. But I think you're focusing on yourself more. And opening yourself up to a new relationship. Because you feel like you're not going to get what it is you want out of this specific relationship. So you want a new beginning when it comes to love. And you're ready to take a risk with someone else. So you're ready to close off this cycle with this person and start something new with someone else. I think you've already decided that. Yeah. Because you know what actions to take to follow your heart, to follow your passion, to get what it is you want out of life. To get what it is you want on the whole. And you're at that place where you want a new relationship. You want, you want your cup to overflow. Because you want to take a leap in a new direction. You're no longer willing to take this person's lies, the deceit, the deception. But, wow, yeah. For some of you, you will be getting divorced from this person. Because you both are at that point where you no longer care for each other. Where you no longer want to be in a connection with each other. But Taurus, I think you are the one that is wanting to go towards a new relationship this is something that was happening behind the scenes for a while so it is no surprise when the both of you finally decide to go your separate ways Yeah, because you want the stability. Someone is definitely coming into you or you're moving towards someone very slowly. But this person wants a passionate new beginning with you or you want it with them. But you have to close off some type of cycle first. Yeah, you have to get over this heartbreak that this person did to you. But I do see you, you communicating with someone or you being interested in having some type of relation with someone else. Yeah, but there is something that you're not seeing. So something isn't being illuminated for you just yet. So be cautious of closing off one cycle to rush into another one. Yeah, because there is a decision that you have to make probably between two people. Yeah, but you need to do a lot of healing first from the heartache and heartbreak that you went through. Could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but you see someone as your wish fulfillment or they see you that way, but they haven't spoken their truth yet. Someone is about to make a irrational decision. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. 
but somebody is tired of juggling two things, two people, or two ideas. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. But you want somebody to take control of their life. You want somebody to stand with you and take care of you. So you're not into the iffy people anymore. It's like you're done with that. Okay, so the advice is dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution, expression. So it's time for you to voice your opinion to someone. Help us in the subtle realm. So your guides and your angels are standing by you to give you the support that you need. Who or what is triggering you? So somebody is mirroring something back to you. Pay particular attention to it. Because you may be doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result and you're not getting it. Alright? So, this is your message for this week. I do hope it resonates with you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one, people.